Oh, hey there. Um, for those of you who have never been to my channel, I'm Jess and I have Bipolar 1. Today's video will be different than my other ones because it's not going to be a room tour, prom video, any of that type of stuff because we are sitting and we are talking today. About a month ago, I was diagnosed with Bipolar 1 and generalized anxiety with panic attacks but today we are focusing on the bipolar aspect of things oh just a disclaimer i talk about this stuff with smiles and as if it's lighthearted, and it clearly isn't but like humor and being positive is kind of my coping mechanism even though it's a really tough topic for me but if it works for me it works for me I've been seeing a therapist at brown for about a year now and they've listened to me rant endlessly. But the common denominator was that I had terrible mood swings, anger issues, and it couldn't have been just classical depression because there was something more to it. One day I would be perfectly fine, happy, energetic, wouldn't be able to stop talking, and the next I'd be angry, quiet, sad, hopeless. After about maybe six, seven months of seeing them, they said, Jess, this kind of sounds like you're experiencing signs of bipolar. And I was like, me? Sir, I think you have the wrong girl. They suggested that I got a neuropsych evaluation. Of course, due to COVID, the wait list to do so was going to be like another four or five months. I was waiting six months to know what was actually wrong with me and that was just the most stressful thing but I waited in the meantime I got a psychiatrist in which I told them hey look I think I might have bipolar or something similar to that in which they give me antidepressants because no I'm high achieving I volunteer I have a lot of friends I couldn't possibly have bipolar apparently and then I mentioned the possibility of a partial program in which my therapist recommended to me. And for those of y'all who don't know what a partial program is, it's the step down from inpatient. It's a six, seven hour a day, every day program. And there you work on coping mechanisms, talk to other people, usually your own age or gender or whatever. Um, about your issues basically it's like group therapy for six hours a day and you get to see a doctor every day i went to this doctor to potentially seek help temporarily until i can get a full diagnosis and they go you're such a high achieving student there's no way that you have bipolar and this is a doctor keep in mind a trained psychiatrist Either way, I couldn't argue with them because what do I know? So they put me on antidepressants, which I found from a lot of internet searching is the worst thing you can do to someone with bipolar. It just takes that up and down and just shifts it so much up because you're getting rid of the down and your mania goes out of control. And that was displayed in the couple months of my life to follow. I'm laughing about this as if I didn't end up in the ER two times. Yeah, twice. And between those two ER visits, that's when I finally got my formal diagnosis of bipolar type 1. And for those of y'all who don't know what the difference is between 1 and 2, 1 is more visible in a way. Um, just like the levels of things, especially mania is a lot higher than someone who would have type 2, which is hypomania. Um, you get really impulsive, your impulse control is almost none, and you at times can see things, hear things, have these very, very intrusive thoughts. and It's a scary thing. But anyways, finally started the partial program once I started in college although I wish I had been able to do it over the summer, but no, I was thriving. The antidepressants ended up making me be so out of control with myself that I was going to try crazy things that 
I otherwise might have not tried. Either way, I move into college and within the first week I end up in the ER. And then it was then that I realized that I could not wait for a partial program, I had to do it ASAP. And so I started it, and the first day was good. I made friends, it was a young adult program at Butler Hospital in Providence. And I made friends and we talked, we had group therapy. But then the next day I showed up and they said, no Jess, I think you need to take it a step further. And then I was admitted. <laughs> and this is unexpected and it spanned over my first college weekend. So clearly I wasn't happy about it. I spent the entire day crying. But honestly, it was what I needed. And I know no one wants to go there. I'm Here at Brown versus there at Butler, it's, completely too, it's two completely different environments in which the students here are going so hard. They seem like they're on top of the world. Whereas at Butler, we're just trying to figure out how to live. And I think that's where I need to be more than here. Is that the fire alarm? I think it was a truck. I feel fooled. Never mind. Anyways, it was a completely different world over there and I honestly felt like it was a better fit for me than school was at the moment. So I ended up spending my first college weekend at this crazy rager called the psychiatric hospital. That's how the cookie crumbled and I think that it I got I did get better from being there. It reminded me to eat three meals a day, just breathe. And these things all seem so simple and mundane, but when you're so in your own head, you forget these things. Now I'm back at school, and obviously things aren't so perfect and easy and 100% fixed, and I've been told by my professors that the path to overcoming this is anything but linear. Which sucks. Sucks because I wish I could just take a pill and this would all go away, but clearly that is not how it works. And it's going to take a lot of work trying different things. But I'm creating this introduction. Hi, I'm Jess. Kind of lay grounds for this new shift in direction I'm taking for my YouTube, even though I have what, like almost 200 subscribers who are probably following me because I go to Brown, but even if I can just reach out to one person going through the same thing as me, I know I was searching YouTube for at least like a big sister, big brother figure to help me through this and I simply could not find it. It's all just like psychiatric hospitals and therapists and their own programs if you look up the caption living with bipolar like no i want i'm a real ass person and i'm about to give it to you straight i want to be that person on youtube that can show you that you can be very successful however you want to quantify that you can be successful and seem like you're thriving when that is far from reality i want to bring awareness to the fact that people may seem fine on the outside and that's a tricky thing with bipolar you could just seem like you're social and happy and just have a few rough days or weeks and so it comes off as the illusion of you're very normal even though you yourself might feel like you're not i want to bring awareness to the fact that you can be highly functional and thriving and still be struggling the most so here I am, me, BP. Um, so there will be more videos to come, more specific videos like medication talks and hospital talks and whatever y'all want, like a day in my life, I don't know. But if I can even reach one person, that'll be one more person that I'm helping through these open, TMI whatever videos so until then mm -hmm. <laughs>